there something I can help you with? I'm looking for Mel Monroe. Who's asking? Her father. Mel meets her dad in these episodes, which is so exciting. Um, when you first found out that Mel had a secret father who just happened to live in Virgin River, were you surprised? Of course I was surprised. I had several moments of, is that okay or is that going too far? And I think we all sort of asked ourselves that question. Sean and I had been talking about it and we were like, is it, is it Virgin River or is it too much? And obviously the conclusion everybody came to was, it's great. It's Christmas. Mm -hmm. And she gets maybe a new, you know, a new part of her family. Yes, the fact that it was in Virgin River was kind of... I mean... I think it was great because it leads everybody to think that it's like Doc. You did mean me, <laughs> yes. right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> of course I did mean you. Everyone thought it was Doc. Everybody was like, it's Doc. Obviously. <laughs> He's fathered half of this town and no one knows it. Yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, that would be funny, though, if he was like, oh, I had a son. Oh, I also had a daughter. Oh. Your dad is Paul the Wine Guy from Friends. Hey, Paul the wine, 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 wine Guy. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Paul, was it? <laughs> the one that Monica dated and he was like, Ever since she left me, um, I, haven't, I haven't been able to uh, perform sexually <laughs> i remember seeing him in friends because i watch it right now i that's what i watched to fall asleep like i go through yeah. all the sitcoms i'll go friends the office parks and rec the good place like i watch all of the things he's so lovely i can't wait to work with him again next season yeah i mean I'm gonna, obviously i'm gonna you start know, calling him paul the wine guy please do <laughs> 